Hello, this is Carl Freund again from Cambrian AI Research, and I've got another video for you today. Today, we're going to be talking with John Curley. He's a Senior Director of Product Management at Qualcomm, Qualcomm Technologies. Welcome, welcome, John, to the video. Thank you, Carl. Glad to be here. Great. Well, you guys did some pretty amazing price performance, as well as performance per watt, especially, but even outright performance at the recent ML per version 1.1 inference benchmark results. So let's talk about that today, kind of explain to the audience what you were able to accomplish and why it's important to your clients. I'd be happy to, thank you. Yeah, so I think for us, as you know, uh, this is our second submission with the Cloud A100 inference accelerator. Uh, our second consecutive uh, submission. Uh, for ML Perf, it's done twice a year. Uh, overall, you know, we're very committed to this uh, benchmark, not just with the Cloud A100, but overall with Qualcomm. Um, and uh, we do this with the Snapdragon mobile products as well. Uh, this cycle, our second submission, uh, we greatly expanded our submissions. We had 82 submissions with about almost half or 36 being power-based submissions, which I'll talk about hopefully later. Um, we use prior models that we use the first submission as well as new models, uh, prior platforms and new platforms as well from edge to edge server to the data center as well. Uh, those were all done with commercial grade software and hardware that's in our customers hands today. Um, our last and you know, our first submission on MLPerf 1.0, uh, we focused on a few vision based uh, uh, networks. Uh, ResNet 50 would be one, uh, ResNet 34 SSD is another as well. And we, we believe that really showcased our industry leading performance per watt, uh, both on the edge and the data center side. And we continue that focus, that theme this time as well, Carl. Um, not only did we submit those same again, but we expanded those as well to include new models. We, we got into natural language processing, uh, BERT, we did some BERT submissions as well, just to, just to name one. Uh, and we think that we, we believe this showcases how our solution really can address a number of very interesting use cases in this industry, and we're not just you know vision based. Um, and so, you know, not only this cycle did we show that performance per watt, but another area we're really proud of is how we took the next step, and we showed how this, you know, uh, our DNA about performance per watt really scales at the data center level, right? So we did submit a 16 card 2U server submission, a gigabyte platform submission uh, that did showcase, uh, in particular, ResNet 50, how we did achieve, you know, best in class uh, performance as well, not only just performance per watt. That was very impressive to see you be able to scale that high, to be able to beat all comers on that, that inference benchmark. So congratulations. I'm sure the team worked hard on that. And you mentioned, of course, this is version 1.1 and you, you stepped up to the plate for version one as well, but your performance results were significantly higher, like over 30%. Can you talk about how that was accomplished? Yeah, no, it's a great, great observation. Um, yes, so we absolutely, a lot of those improvements were basically done through software, right? Software optimizations. Uh, some of the improvements, just to kind of quantify a little bit, uh, on the edge appliance submission, uh, we did see around a 14% improvement in ResNet 50. Uh, SSD, uh, ResNet 34, we saw a 29%. And if you look at performance per watt in, uh, on ResNet uh, um, uh, 34, excuse me, ResNet uh, 34, we did increase to 34% on performance per watt. Um, so lots of in performance, and I think it comes down to software, Carl, right? It really comes down to the compiler optimizations, right? We recently shared a lot more about our architecture. We have 16 AI hardware cores inside our solution, and it's optimizing the performance across those cores. If I think of one good example uh, I can give you that we really focus on is uh, that drove the performance was our depth first optimization. Uh, this is something we recently spoke about in another public setting, but this really enabled us to better utilize the on-chip SRAM. So we have a lot of SRAM on the solution and, and going out to DDR less often. So it was especially good with large resolution images, uh, really minimizing the spillage of DDR and processing the network graph at a depth first manner as well. So that was definitely one area that are depth first that really, really showcased uh, a compiler optimization that we utilized on 1.1 that we didn't have on, on 1.0 we used. That's great. That's great. So you mentioned memory. Um, you mentioned you've got a lot of SRAM. Your platform is somewhat unique and you don't use any DRAM on the card. And I'm wondering, will you have enough memory on that card for doing a good job on things like DLRM 
or are you deselecting uh, 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 you know, recommendation engine kind of applications for the first generation? So we actually do have DRAM on the card, right? So we have a lot oh. of S SRAM, but we do have DRAM on the card, all of the different form factors from a dual M.2 embedded solution up to our PCIe half by half lane card solution. Yeah, so we it's configurable, you know, from eight gigabytes up to 16 gigabyte or, or beyond as well. But um, yeah, so DRM is something that, you know, if I take a step back, our focus on this effort is not just a benchmark, it's also focused on what our customers are asking us for, right? Uh, and where we are um, really, um, you know, focused on today. So we did do 82 submissions. It's hard to do all the submissions, but 82 is, is definitely was a, was a sizable effort, I would say. Um, but, you know, uh, we're really, our strategy is focused on um, the, the models and the engagements our customers are really focused on. Uh, DLRM, the recommendation network or any recommendation network is something that uh, I can see us doing in the future. Um, that is not something today that we did submit, but that doesn't mean we won't in the future. Um, but any recommendation network like DLRM is something that we can absolutely support. Uh, but again, it, it comes back to the vision for us. It's really uh, ML Perf is super important, but we also want to collaborate this effort with our lead engagements and lead customers. And so um, uh, uh, right now we're focused on vision and NLP, and, and that's kind of what we what kept us busy from 1.0 um, to 1.1. And obviously, you focus, by focusing on it, you did a really good job. Uh, I was very pleased with the results. I'm sure your team was as well. But what you mentioned, you mentioned your customers. And I know you can't name any at this point because they tend to be shy. That's normal at this point in a, a maturity cycle of a, of a new market. But um, can you talk about your customer's view of ML Perf? Are they starting to use it in their selection process? Absolutely, absolutely, right. Um, more and more uh, uh, it is used as the common denominator to measure competing solutions in this space, right? So we are, as you know, an AI inference accelerator, right? Uh, and this is something that our customers uh, uh, are focused on and as well as our results are garnering interest as well. So I've had interest, interested customers come to me and, and, and because of our past results. Um, you know, one area that we're particularly really excited about is the performance per watt, right? The ratio of performance per watt. Um, and that really aligns with what the customers are looking for, right? Not just a total cost of ownership, i.e. kind of get more performance at a lower cost and whatnot, but uh, the carbon emission is, is also a big, big deal, right? Um, and I'm sure as you know, you know, uh, as of this summer, there's over a hundred companies that have, that have made that climate pledge, right? That, and to, to be carbon neutral by 2040, if I'm not mistaken, right? And, you know, that's an ambitious goal. And to get there, you got to take that first step. And, and so we're seeing a, a much more focus around performance per watt. And rather than, you know, uh, uh, you know the customers want to see a common... Um, trusted benchmark that they can compare and contrast and know everyone was playing by the same set of rules. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really uh, something that we're seeing in our RFPs uh, come through. So, so we it's, think not this, just ag, it's not just a drag racing event, right? I mean, it is not, it customers. is not just a drag racing event. No, no question. I mean, I, we wouldn't be part of our commitment is definitely because our customers are asking for this, no doubt. And, and we think this is super important and we welcome others to participate as well. So we can have a, a much more um, uh, comprehensive forum here. Well, it's great. Great to see the, um, let's say, responsible and accountability that you take for improving environment and carbon emissions to to, to advance the state of the art of, of inference processing for artificial intelligence. So, my hat's off to you if I was wearing one right now. Um, uh, so, so what's next? What's next? I mean, we're coming up on uh, you know, Snapdragon Summit at the end of the year. I'm sure you can't disclose any of that, but what, what, what's in your line of sight that you're excited about? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we focused a lot about, um, you know, sharing a little bit more about the architecture and what is the Cloud AI 100 and what's the capabilities and the 16 cores and the SRAM, as you mentioned, and all that good stuff and the depth first scheduling, which I just touched upon. Um, you know, so I think we've done a great job communicating that. And now with the benchmarks, again, ML Perf, there's credibility to our solution. Uh, we have significant interest uh, for sure, uh, you know, in this solution as well. So I think for us, you're going to hear a little bit more talking about partnerships, right? Folks that we're 
we're working with. Uh, we've announced some of that. Uh, you you saw recently uh, the Gigabyte platform as we mm -hmm. did submit on. It was talking about how they fit 16 of our cards in it. Uh, that's just another example. Uh, Foxconn Gloria project was another example for that edge appliance. So I think you're going to see much more around that. Uh, partnership announcements, customer announcements. Uh, we will continue to optimize our solution. You know, I, I'm a firm, but software is never done. There's always room for optimizations. I think you'll see more optimizations. We remain committed to ML Perf. Um, uh, we are going to be doing another 2.0 submission. I think you'll see improvements in BERT as well in, in that area. So, you know, continue to improve our product, uh, continuing to execute uh, for our customers and bringing really exciting solutions to the market and new use cases and enablements. It's really kind of uh, what we'll be focused on for sure. Well, I think you definitely um, uh, set yourself up with a much higher bar of credibility with both your submissions on MLPerf. So my, my compliments and congratulations for that work. It's, uh, it's, it's important to establish the bona fides of your platform and that in certainly includes the software. So uh, that sounds all great, John. I look forward to continuing to follow you guys and uh, good luck. We'll, we'll talk to you again soon, I'm sure. Thanks so much, Carl, appreciate it. Thanks, bye-bye. Okay.